All right, Coach, uh, a couple of weeks since we last talked. You've had a couple more weeks on the floor with your team. I know you've had some ups and some downs over the last couple of weeks. Just talk a little bit about practice. You know, the ups and downs are, are, are normal um, because, you know, a lot of the new kids are really trying to get used to a, a different philosophy. And, you know, your newcomers coming from high school, the two that we do have coming into collegiate play, it's been a tremendous adjustment. You know, the level changes. Um, but for the most part, uh, what they're giving, the effort, that's what we're looking for is the effort and the willingness to, to get better every day. And we're getting that. And, and as long as we're getting that as coaches, we feel pretty good about, you know, our progression as we move forward in the season. Well, in preseason practice, uh, I'm sure for not only from your days here as a coach, but even back when you played here in Leon, I'm sure every fall camp before the season started, you went through those periods of time where Coach Barmore didn't think y'all were giving enough. Absolutely. And, and it, as a player, when you look back on it, you really appreciate that because you're thinking that you're giving your all, but a coach will see something different in you, knowing that you can give more, you can do more, and there's more out there for you. But it, it's something that we must stay patient with as coaches to make sure they understand that there's more that they can give, there's, there's a, a better focus that they can come in with. And, of course, it happens to us all, and it's your growing pains. And once you start to understand the coach is for you, not against you, you'll start to get more. And one of the messages you've kind of relayed to your team is, you know, you've, you've had them out there practicing in their own gear as opposed to the Lady Texture practice gear. It's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling at all to, to kind of take things away. But you have to understand there's, you know, that sense of entitlement. You want to kind of take that away from them and, and give them a better understanding of how to earn things. You earn things. And when you earn it, you're a little more proud of, of what you have and what you've accomplished. Uh, it's not a good feeling at all for us as a staff to not see them in that uniform. But the way that they're practicing right now, uh, the different focus that they have right now has been tremendously different uh, because they want to earn it. They want to put that back on their backs and represent Louisiana Tech in this program in the proper way. And that's what we wanted to see. You get to play somebody else this weekend. You've got a close scrimmage this weekend against Stephen F. Austin. What are you hoping you see? You know, you're just hoping to see that the things that uh, we have been teaching – that we're kind of tighten up, tightening things up and getting that better chemistry that we, we're looking forward to having. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a process, and we know that. But when you're playing against someone else, uh, you get a better look at uh, where we really are. See, we, we just want to see where we are, what we need to change, and, and places that we need to get better in. And uh, We're doing a pretty good job of, of, of getting things done and understanding things with the effort. And you probably hear me say that every day. The effort is really enough for us all. I talk, asked you the other day, and we kind of laughed about it, but trying to figure out who your starting five is going to be this year, not an easy task. This is a good feeling. This is a good feeling to have as a staff to walk in, and you're like, wow, you know, we're trying to figure out who it will be. Uh, everybody's just playing hard, and, and that's what we want. We want them to compete for that spot because there, there's an opening for everybody, and, and they are competing for that spot. And right now it is a difficult choice because we have – so many talented people, but our kids will understand that, you know, it's not all about who starts the game. and We're not going to even be all about who starts and who finishes. It's about everybody coming together and getting the job done. Let's talk a little bit about your post players. Uh, the first thing that jumps out this year is you look at the roster, you got more size than you've had in quite a while. Boy, that is a plus. You know, this is the first time uh, since being here, the, going into our, uh, my fifth year along with Coach Carter and now with Coach Caputo and, and Coach Simmons, it's absolutely great to go in with the height that we have. We have six legitimate post people, uh, and it's been good because we can actually sub them in and out, and each one brings something different uh, with powerful back to the basket uh, dominance that Tavasha Anderson can have, and, and the rest of the post players can really stretch the defense by it with their ability to play on the perimeter, and, and that's been really good for us. But as we've moved forward from practice to practice, they've only gotten better. As you look at this group, uh, who would you, would you think, who would you label as your best couple of scores? Maybe um, on the inside, your traditional post player scores. Um, um, Brittany Lewis is, is um, very versatile, play inside, outside, um, has an array of, of post moves, a little nice soft touch down there. And Whitney Frazier has just, 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 she just turned her game up. I think last year, with all the time that she had as a freshman, being a starter, and that experience has really played a part in her growth. Uh, she understands what this level is all about and, and the kind of physicalness that you must play with uh, in this in this Division One basketball. Uh, and Tabasha Anderson, as we all know, is just a 
powerful post player that we need her to be. And with Jasmine and uh, Bianca really learning our system and, and what they bring is just absolutely amazing with what they bring uh, to us in the, in the painted area with, with Jasmine being so physical and going for every uh, rebound and giving us second chance opportunities. Bianca, who's just tremendously long and gives us that chance to um, uh, will actually be a great upside defender. And with uh, Savannah, the, the ability to shoot the basketball. She's one player that I would definitely film the way that she shoots the basketball and just use it as a, a, a video for people to see the mechanics. Okay, you mentioned, uh, you know, Whitney, Brittany, probably your best offensive players inside, down low. Who who out of this group is probably your best defenders? Um, well, we we're learning something different at this time, and they're in the learning process. Uh, but, but when it comes to foot movement, uh, Whitney Frazier moves very well. We always tell our posts, you cannot be posted, they cannot touch you. Uh, she moves her feet well, understanding what we call our active white defense, uh, and that's constantly uh, moving and getting in front if so needed. Uh, she does a great job with that. and Everybody else is really learning. You know, it's, it's a different process. So everybody else is really learning it and getting better at it as on a daily basis, just repetition after repetition. And, of course, you mentioned Bianca Hall. She's your true freshman who's a yeah. post player. Just talk a little bit about what you've seen from her and, and her progress. Her upside is tremendously bright. Uh, she's just been a joy to coach, um, always having a smile on her face, always stopping and eye-to-eye -eye contact. Uh, listening and a very coachable kid. Uh, she's going to be an amazing athlete here at Louisiana Tech uh, just with the things that she does so well. Rebounds the ball, uh, gets the outlet out quickly, and she runs the floor like a guard. Uh, like I said earlier, she's nice and long, and she does a great job of being on the upside to get blocked shots. But not only does she get blocked shots, but she keeps them in play. 